Hello friends and enemies, it's me, V. Well, I was supposed to have uploaded it at 3. I still have the footage, by the way. The footage was of me doing my walk. The voiceover did not go the way I expected it to. Um, so as a result, you're just getting this video. You're just getting this short video. Right now, I feel like shit mentally. I have my Duncan. I always go for my Duncan today because it's it's Veterans Day. It's 11-11. They are doing 4% off. Not 4%. They're doing 4 points. So this is my hot original blend. Black. Because I always get my original blends black. But I only add caramel swirl. And I did a coconut shot for this one. Usually what I'll do with. So you can actually see me. What I will do with my hot coffees and my iced coffees. I never add milk if I can help it or any cream or anything like that. The only thing I add are the shots, which will either be almond, vanilla, or coconut, and then it's always caramel shot, a uh, caramel swirl. And I always get the large. <sighs> Today was an off day. Yesterday was an off day. I fucked up at work, which was terrible. Mmm. Oh, now that's delicious. It's a little bit, ooh, actually it's not as sweet as I would like. But it's still, it's good. It still gets me through. I decided to do their peppermint mocha swirl. Give that a chance. So I'm going to take out the ice and then that's going to be for tomorrow's coffee because I did not wash the dishes. And I can't wash my dishes. Well, I can, but that nap problem really is fucking with me. I got to go to work. I think what I'm thinking about is, what is it that I want in a partner? I don't know if I actually want a partner. I keep saying, I want a boyfriend. I want a girlfriend or, you know, I want a partner. Here's the thing, though. What is it that I actually want in a partner? Is it the actual person themselves or is it just the the chance to say, I've been in, I have a relationship. And I have been thinking about that for quite a while and... What I want in a relationship may not be what other people desire in a relationship. In fact, I know it's, it's not. Um, if we are in a relationship, I want us to be able to communicate and say exactly how we're feeling, put our feelings out there. And I have seen too many people say, oh, I don't tell my, my partner how I'm feeling. Instead, I'll cheat on them. Uh-uh. I, I have... I had somebody actually do that. Do that. Hold on for one second as I make this turn. I just, I just saw my coworker. He got into his car and he left. And I was like, about to say hey. And now I'm like, am I supposed to be at work? Am I supposed to be at home? Hold on. Yeah, my coworker actually was supposed to be at work. Um, I'm supposed to be at work, but he left early, so we're good. We're fine. No. Um, this person. Yeah, I, I'm part of a chat room where we just, you know, talk about relationships and, and stuff. Probably would help connect better if I'm actually looking at you. And this person, they are a cis woman. They are a cis, they are a cis female, white, and messy as all hell. They have dated guys, they've dated women, they've dated people who are non-binary and everything in between. My issue has come up, and I think I pissed, I have pissed her off several times, is because she will say, she says that she's poly, she's polyamorous, but then in another, in another message or post, she'll talk about how she's cheated on her partners and she gets bored easily. And I've been, I've been like, communication is best. If you can talk to your partner and say, like, this is how I'm feeling and everything, you guys can work it out. If you're polyamorous, be polyamorous. But if you're cheating and you're in a polyamorous relationship, meaning that you aren't telling your partner who is also polyamorous, like, hey, I'm bringing in this other person. What the fuck? Well, I guess I'm pissing her off. I also pissed her off because she made two posts about how she got in a relationship with a 19-year-old, I believe, 
cis guy, I could be off, um, but got in a relationship with a guy, then got in a relationship with a woman. The woman was 25, the guy was 18. She told both of them, I'm, you know, this is just for sex, blah, 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 da, 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 da. And then she laughed about how both of them got attached to her. And in both cases, she was their first, she was their first everything, like their first sexual par- par- partner, their first sh- sexual experience. My mouth, I apologize. And she's laughing about it. And I'm like, why, why are you laughing at this? These two people are hurt. They told you their feelings and you're laughing about it while making a post about how, well, you should trust people's actions, not their words. Communication doesn't work because you should trust their actions. And I almost said it, but I didn't. I, I wanted to say, well, then blankety blank judged by your actions. You are a dishonorable person. I can't trust you as fuck because you made fun of somebody after they told you they fell for you. Instead of talking to them and being like, hey, this is, you know, I'm starting to see that you're getting really attached. This is toxic. You saw the signs and you told all of us about the signs that you were seeing and laughing about it. That's mean as fuck. The fact that you're in a polyamorous relationship and yet you still cheat on your partner and your partner. And by the way, If you're in a polyamorous relationship, you can be cheated on. If your partner is not telling you like, hey, if you guys have talked and been like, okay, this is how this is going to work out. And your partner is being secretive about the person they're fucking. And you guys have said, we need to have open communication lines and everything. I can understand you. She's not telling her partner, hey, I'm bringing other people into this relationship and fucking them without telling you. Meanwhile, her partner is telling her these are the people that I'm bringing in blah 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 so how does that work you both you claim that both of you and your partner are really open and honest and everything and blah 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 and they know about the your partners but you're telling about us about this these two partners that you're that you're you're number one the person that you're supposed to be really fucking honest with you're not telling them about these two people and you have the audacity to laugh about that shit and be like yeah i cheat bitch i don't fucking i don't fucking trust you i don't want to do any i don't want to have anything to do with you to be honest and the fact other people were laughing at this at this while it was happening fuck y'all got me fucked up let me check Mm, i gotta 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 go to work that's the shit that was happening and that's also why i was kind of late because i had to deal with that shit i apologize so this is video that you're going to get instead of my awesome fun video. You can also talk about my beard growing back in. Also, you can talk about the fact that I'm on my period. I'm using my reusable pads, which are awesome. Unfortunately, I do my laundry once a month. It just so happened after I did my laundry, I got my period. I did not think anything out of it. Until I got my period on the 10th. Yes, yesterday. Well, the 9th I spotted and I said, am I going to get my fucking period? And then I didn't get it. It it, it went away on the 9th. It came in, then it left. So I said, okay, I guess I'm not going to get it. And then the 10th I woke up and I felt my right ovary start and my left ovary start. And I went, I'm going to get my fucking period today, aren't I? I wiped myself. Yup, sure in the shit I did get my period. On the 10th. Five days before it was supposed to happen. At this point, I realize as I lose weight, my periods are going to be probably wonky. They're probably going to become early. Hopefully, they have a schedule. Right now, it seems like they're coming in five days before the period tracker says they're supposed to come in. So at this point, I'm just like, you know what? I'll take what I can get. Continue exercising. Have I eaten any food? No, I do not feel like eating food. I feel like crawling into a ball and dying, but I can't because I am be- I am bleeding chunks out of my body and I have to go to work. And it's a beautiful day, so I really shouldn't complain. But I am starting to wonder to myself, do I want to be in a relationship because 
it's just someone to say, hey, this is what my relationship is, or do I want to be in an actual relationship? I do want to be in an actual relationship. That being said, I don't want to see my partner every single day. That's weird because so many people I know are like, yeah, I see and hang out with my partner every time. I'm fine with seeing them, you know, once a week. Two weeks is kind of pushing it. And I want to keep my own apartment. I don't want to move in with you. If you have kids, that's cool and awesome. Kids need stability. So if I get with you, that means I, I, I need to see the kids at least once a week and be like, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Talk to them that way. I do want to be in a relationship. Now that I'm talking to you guys out loud, I do want to be in a relationship. I do want to be with a partner and be like, hey, how's it going? At the same time, I want them to want me. I don't want them to be embarrassed to be around me. You know, with how I've talked, sometimes I'm a little out there. I want someone who's like, hey, this is my girlfriend. And I'm proud of her. And I love her regardless of her her crazy, some of the shit she says. That's what I'm looking for in a partner. And I think what I've done in the past is I've caught feelings for people. Um, or I've talked to guys. And then as I've been talking to guys... I've either self-sabotaged or they've let me know know in their own work terms of, hey, I'm not into you because, you know, we aren't chilling. Or it may be a, I'm not into you because you have a Dunlap and a beard. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll go more in depth, but I really got to get to work. So, see ya.